Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here. Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode. It's now Season 1, Episode 5. Yes, we have gone that far, and well, the last episode wasn't as good as I expected it to be, as we played some really poor sides and didn't get the best of results, but the one positive I take from this is if you look at that glowing statistic there, that Lee Gregory is the second top goal scorer in the league with four goals. That's a pretty good stat. Now, I think that this episode is going to be one of the hardest that we've actually got to face off against. We've got a few interesting teams. So let's actually just quickly take a look at who I'm going to be facing. Right, so the first match of this episode is going to be at home to Rochdale, a game that I would expect us to win against. Also, before I get into any games, I do want to mention that somebody said to bring Alan Dunn back, and I'm going to say I'll try and get him on a free transfer if his contract runs out, but I'm not going to get him any other way. He is 34 years old. And let's be honest, you only decline from the age onwards. Our second tie is going to be against Bradford City away from home. And that could be a very, very challenging tie. I don't know how I feel about that considering how bad our form has been. And then finally, we've got a home tie against Cholton. So that makes it two home ties in Rochdale and Cholton. And then an away tie in Bradford City. Obviously, the Cholton one is a derby game and the Bradford one is going to be very challenging. So hopefully we can get something out of this game. But the only way to find out is going into the team selection against Rochdale. Right, and with the transfer window officially closed, this is the team that I'm going to be going with to face off against Rochdale. Obviously, this is the tie we lost 3-2 in real life too. So as long as we can get better than that, then that would be pretty, pretty important. I don't want to lose this one, so I've gone with a pretty strong team. That being said, I've changed a few faces from the last game. So in goal, we've gone with Angus Gunn. The left back is Joe Martin. The two centre backs are Webster and Hutchinson. They've remained the same. The same is with our right back Cummins. He also stays in the team. The right midfielder is Fred. He's replaced David Worrell from the squad. Butchers come in for Williams and also Villabala is staying in the squad. He was brilliant in the last game. The left midfielder is Greg Wilde. He comes in to replace Ferguson. I just want to see how he differs. They're very close in ratings. It's worth a try. And two strikers are Gregory and the captain. Steve Morrison so hopefully we can get the right result in this game but I really can't say anything considering how poor we've been recently surely we've got to turn it around somehow so let's get into the game against Rochdale and hopefully we can get that win good Lucy is he going to be able to get the cross in he's got so much space and time he's going to cross it in that's headed away but the danger still hasn't been dealt with and then we've knocked him over in the box and that's a penalty to the opposition that was stupid. I don't know why that happened. I really wasn't asking him to just full-on knock him over in the box, but Vincenzi's been handed a very, very easy penalty there. So it's Steven Davis versus Angus Gunn. What can he do from the spot? He's going to take it. Oh, puts it the opposite way to the keeper. It's 1-0 Rochdale. This is starting to get frustrating. I'm sounding like a broken record. How many penalties have we given away I think it's a joke how the player tries to go for a player instead of trying to get it normally. But what can you do, to be honest? Rochdale have the lead. It was a well-taken penalty. And the only way I can complain is about the manner it was given. But the penalty is a penalty. You convert it, then it looks pretty nice. And that's Stephen Davis's fourth goal in the league. Bobala up the pitch to Lee Gregory. We all know Gregory can run with the ball. What can the striker that's second in the league on goal scorers do with the ball? He's still going. Gregory, great save by the keeper, and they can get the ball away. Oh, and it's through to Steve Morrison. Morrison, how did he miss that? Now Cavan. Cavan. Oh, that's a great interception here. It's now with Lee Gregory. Gregory with a shot. It hits the crossbar. Let's win the header. Oh, and that was probably our best chance there. So these are the scores on the doors at half time. Bristol Rovers are drawing with Bradford City, the team we're facing up against next. And there's a 1-0 win for Southend against AFC Wimbledon. And MK Dons are drawing with Warsaw. And you can read the rest of the results there. In our match, though, we've been pretty equal. We haven't been that bad. We really haven't taken chances that have come our way when they've come very few times. But there is signs that we can get a goal. I don't just want a goal. I do want two in this rate. I want to win the game. 
a point would be a step in the right direction though. It wouldn't be a win and let's be honest, with the big teams coming up, we could do with a massive victory to help us in case it doesn't go to plan in those games. Butcher out wide to Greg Wilde. This is the attack we needed. Keep going, Greg. He's still going with the ball. He controls it and he's still running. Greg Wilde, he's still going. He has this shot. Great save by Lillis against the crossbar. Another great save. All the action is happening here. Ben Thompson threads it through to Greg Wilde. He has got the fitness to keep going with the ball. Greg Wilde, he cuts inside. He gets brought down there. That's a penalty. That's all we need to try and get back in this game. Come on, you Lions. And look at this again. He completely gets chopped down, but McGay really should have done a lot better there. That's treacherous defending. I'm going by my it's okay if Gregory takes the penalty, and it is. He scores the penalty. Go collect that ball or go near it. I don't care. We've scored another penalty, and it's the one, the only, Lee Gregory. He definitely converts penalties. I still don't want to let Morrison take it because Lee Gregory's on a goal-scoring streak with penalties. It's evident to see he's confident, and that is a lifeline for us. If we can get another goal, that's three points in the bag. That's exactly what we need. And that is Gregory's fifth in the league this season. What can the Englishman do on the wing? He's still going with it. This is a great run by David Worrell. He's still going. Worrell, he's got the chance. Oh, a absolutely fantastic save by Lillis there. Football is about taking your chances, and if you don't take them, they come back to haunt you. Well, that's exactly what's happened here today. 1-1 against Rochdale. Again, frustrating, terrible result, but what can I really say and do? We conceded the goal in the first place that led to this, and I can't believe we gave away that penalty because we were doing so well. We have to improve, and I'm not looking forward to playing these next two games. It really, really is going to be hard. And, well, what can we do? We're just going to have to dream and hope those dreams come true. Right, so this is the game against Bradford City. I'm not going to lie. I am really, really not looking forward to this one. We've kept the team majoritively the same. Gunn's still in goal. Martin is still the left back. The two centre-backs are the same. Hutchinson's the captain as taken Morrison out of the team. Romeo's coming at right back. I want to see how he's progressing. Fred stays in the team. Williams comes in for Butcher. Ferguson comes in for Wild. And then, as I said, I took Morrison out of the team because he's just not good enough. I'm not going to lie. I said I would, so I've got to go through with it. Morrison's got to come off the bench in this game if he wants to make an impact. So, let's go up against Bradford. Hopefully, we can get that win. Yeah, so you compare the top goal scorers and Marshall's in here for Bradford and Gregory's in here for us. Angus Gunn is going to swing it up the pitch. Williams wins the header. It's on to Aiden O'Brien, who knocks it on to Lee Gregory. Gregory, if he just gets through here, this could be a great chance. Gregory's still going with the ball. Lee Gregory, there you go. What an amazing goal by our number nine, Lee Gregory. You go off and celebrate. You deserve it. That was sensational. And that's how you score a goal against a good side. We need to see that again. Great teamwork goal. I'm not going to lie. And well, I cannot believe we've just done that. Great battling on by Lee Gregory. Kept going and then slotted it way past, I would assume, Colin Doyle in the net. That was fantastic. I cannot believe it. Easy, easy goal for Gregory. He is scoring for fun at the moment. Let's cross it in here. Ferguson, get it on someone's head. And we do. Oh, it hits the crossbar. It's cleared away only as far as Lee Gregory, and he's closed down. Unlucky there. Still going. This is a great bit of passing play. We need to stop the chance before it's created. That's a great chance. Great save. Let's get this ball away. At halftime, Port Vale are beating Warsaw. Oldham are beating MK Dons. And Gillingham and Swindon are drawing 0-0. And just a quick check. Bristol Rovers are beating Cholton. So hopefully that'll mean they're going in with bad form and we can get a decent result against those. We are all winning at the moment in our one. So let's quickly take a look at those stats. We have been dominating them. It's a shame that Vilbala's injured, so I'm going to have to take him off. But we've been doing really, really well. I'm impressed with the team in this game. We've fought back and we've shown a lot of strength in the game. Obviously, we did struggle in the last one. We had chances, but this time we've taken it and we've still got the lead. So we can kind of keep hold of the lead 
And if we do, that should be perfect. Through to Ain't No Brian. He has got pace and energy, and he's going to continue running with the ball. It's a great move by the Irishman. Ain't No Brian, he's still going. Oh, that's a great save. It goes straight to Gregory, and he just about gets stopped from having that all-important shot. And he is now going up the pitch to try and put a cross in that could be very dangerous. Marais. It's a great cross. Oh, and that's an equaliser. James Hansen, I believe it is, with the header there. We have really got to get better at defending. It's another game where we don't keep a clean sheet. I really am getting annoyed with this. That was so easy to defend by Marlon Romeo there. And I'd say that his rating and his experience levels may have let him down there. But still, seriously, you've got to do a lot better than that. And Hansen has just been handed that one. And that's funny enough, his fourth goal in the league this season to Hutchinson. Hutchinson back to Thompson. Thompson, on to Morrison, Steve Morrison, great save by Stalmeyer there, Morrison lays it off to Aidan O'Brien, he has got the energy to keep going, it's Aidan O'Brien, he has the shot, he scores the match winner, surely, Aidan O'Brien with the winner, I cannot believe it, we've got an actual winner in this game, we have definitely played a lot better than we did in the last one, and I've definitely thought we deserved this win, but this is fantastic. He continues running, he skips inside and then finesses it against the post, I believe, and it goes in. A great finish by Edna O'Brien. It definitely merits dropping Morrison now and then. He definitely added something to this game and, well, this is crucial. Three points could be heading our way if we can hold on. And we've finally won a game with us asserting domination. Very, very happy. Obviously, there's not too much to be worried about, apart from the fact that we conceded a goal. But what can you do? The guy that actually helped them get that goal was Marlon Romeo. He played really well in this game, so he's going to get the next game in the all-important match against Charlton. So, let's go play that derby game. I now cannot wait to play up against Charlton. Come on, you Lions. Right, so after beating Bradford, we have the all-important game against Cholton Athletic at the Den. I cannot wait to battle in this game. We've got probably our best squad out there. Obviously, Morrison is on the bench as I dropped him because O'Brien played really well in the last game. But this is the team that I've put out. So in goal, we've gone with Angus Gunn. The left-back is Joe Martin. The two centre-backs are Webster and the captain, Hutchinson. The right back is Romeo. Romeo played fantastic and he's progressing really well. So he's definitely going to be getting more game time. The left midfielder is Ferguson. The two centre midfielders are Williams and Butcher. The right midfielder is David Worrell. And then you've got Gregory and O'Brien up front. This could be an interesting game. The one thing I don't want to do though is lose to Chelton. So we've got to battle really hard as they are higher in the league than us at the moment. We'll find Aidan O'Brien. O'Brien to Romeo. Romeo's going to cross it in. It's headed away. It's only as far as Callum Butcher. Butcher lays it off for Williams, who has the shot. Great save by Declan Rudd there. Lee Novak. They're still passing it around. It's Novak to Kashki. Kashki. It's intercepted here. That is a terrible pass, though, by Millwall. And now we're in danger as they have the ball on the edge of our area. They're just passing it around like nobody's business. They're still going with the ball. That's a great cross in. And there's their goal. It's number 25. I don't actually know who that is, but that is so pathetic to have conceded that. It still hasn't shown me who it is. Either way, we should have defended a lot better. Is that Kashki that got the header? It may well have been. Yes, Kashki. And that is frustrating. Look, Joe Martin was there. He should have made the header. We have, well, we're losing to one of our biggest rivals. We don't want to concede another one. So Shrewsbury are beating Bristol Rovers. You have Oldham are beating Port Vale. And Scunthorpe United are beating Swindon. The rest of the results are there so you can see them yourselves. I honestly feel cheated in this game. The referee has been abysmal. Hutchinson just got booked for something he didn't even do. And their head goal was, well, really poor. Joe Martin really should have stopped the player from having a free header. And, well, there's a lot to improve on. I'm in far 
from happy with this team at the moment. We're against Cholton. We have to beat Cholton. That's one of the things that Mill will do. We can't lose this one. Joe Martin is still going with the ball. Joe Martin is going to lay it off for Callum Butcher. He's hit a rocket before. It's blocked. Ain't no Brian. He's still going with it. Oh, and that's got to be a penalty. And it is. They've gifted us with a penalty. How about that? I believe it was their captain as well. I want to see this again. This was dreadful defending. He literally destroyed him. And it was their captain that gave it away. Takeira was the offender. Lee Gregory is going to be the guy I make take it. Oh, and that is a beautiful penalty. Top corner. And I had for a second thought that Rudd was going to save that. But Gregory, fantastic penalty. Let's have a look at this again. Wow. Roof of the net and everything. Perfect penalty. Just what you want from your main scorer. And Gregory is proving to be a vital asset to this team this season. We're going to be making three substitutions here. Abdu, Morrison and Wilder coming on for Williams, Ferguson and O'Brien. I think that these players will just add something to the game, especially Abdu. Because we need someone in the centre of midfield with a lot of energy. And that could be exactly what we need here. Wild, I'm still making my mind up on how good he is at the moment though. Lee Novak. They're still playing their football. This is great football. Oh, Batanka. He's found it and it's gone in the back of the net. Jordan Batanka off the end of a throw-on converts it. Just what we need, really. We've conceded again to Cholton. We just can't keep clean sheets. At the moment, I don't really care about that. It's the fact that how easy that was for him to score. And this is embarrassing. Wilde should have done a lot better. The substitute, obviously, not knowing his role as he's just come on. And, well, it speaks for itself. Cholton have the lead. Why is Gunn up the pitch? Our keeper's actually up here. Worrell. He's going to cross it in. Oh, that's a great chance and we've scored. Lee Gregory with the header from the corner. That's another goal for Lee Gregory. I was so dazed and confused for the fact Angus Gunn was up the pitch. I mean, if you see this again, great header. Just about in. That's what the doctor ordered. We've got another goal. This is the equaliser. We haven't lost. And you just see Gunn dashing it backwards and then turns around to celebrate. What a guy. And that's actually Gregory's eighth goal in the league season. He is on fire. Someone put him out. But I'm going to be annoyed, obviously. But a draw against Cholton is a whole world better than losing to Cholton, I'm going to be honest. So before we end this episode, I do want to see where we are in the league table because it could be pretty interesting to see that we didn't start off very well, but we've slowly but surely progressed up the table. So... With Gregory being the top goal scorer, probably I want to see how the top goal scorers are faring up as well. So let's quickly go do that. So we sit in the top half of the league table just about. We are 11th with 11 points. And it's only 11 points off of Sheffield United who are top of the league. Bit disappointing, but we are improving. That's a whole episode without being beaten. You watch, I lose every single game in the next episode. But... We won't worry too much about that. It's pretty impressive. AFC Wimbledon. How about that? They are second. Where are the rest of the teams that got promoted? Well, you've got Oxford United who are 19th. And where are the other side? Northampton are 6th. I completely missed them when I was looking at the top of the table. That's not bad, actually. You've got Swindon, Rochdale, Peterborough in the bottom of the league. And I just quickly want to see how Gregory's doing in the goal-scoring rankings. Oh, good. He's top of the goal scoring rankings. Eight goals. Pretty good for Gregory. Anyone in the assists for Millwall? Okay, Ferguson's there with two. There is anyone else there? Let's quickly check. Yeah, you've got Morrison with one. Who else is in the top goal scorers for Millwall? Just to check. No one, of course. He is all of our goals, really, Gregory. Let's be honest. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Millwall career mode. It's been a bit frustrating to draw with Cholton, but at the end of the day, a draw is better than a loss. So like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I will see you guys in the next Mill Career Mode episode. But until then, goodbye.